Meet the pint-sized punk. Pre-COVID, 10-year-old Arlo went to two or three gigs a month in Bristol with his parents and would often be found right down the front. During lockdown, he was missing his music, so came up with an idea. My mum asked what I'd like to write about, and I said I'd like to write about some bands. The pint-sized punk fanzine was born. They approached his favourite bands for interviews. Mercury Prize nominee's Idol said yes and became his first cover star. Oh, I, I, I really like punk music because um, I like how the drums and guitars and vocals all go together like a big punk sandwich. And the fanzine has features you wouldn't find anywhere else. This one is a picture of Bump I did um, from Super Furry Animals. I asked everyone I interview if they their opinion on Marmite. This is the love side. John Newton and Carlos from Fontaine's DC are all sitting on the fence. They don't mind it, but don't hate it. Mum Hannah started taking Arlo to gigs when she realised it was cheaper than hiring a babysitter. Making the fanzine has been a huge part of his lockdown learning at home. Luckily his, his school are really, really supportive and we've spoken to them about the skills that he's using. But it would be very easy for me as a parent to take over. But no, he's been involved in everything. And word of mouth is spreading. The first issue sold 300 copies. The second has attracted orders from Australia and America and he's about to launch a t-shirt range. And big acts are on board. Arlo's spoken to the Manic Street Preachers and was just about to interview Dream Wife, whose new album has gone top 20. What did you want to be when you were 10? I wanted to be either an artist, an astronaut or an acrobat. And I, I think being in this band, I get to be all three. And when social distancing ends, Arlo will get to put on his own gig. His local record shop, Rough Trade, say he can host a launch party there. Let's hope not too many more issues come out before he can do that. Colin Patterson, BBC News, Bristol.